All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about goals in active campaign, how you can use them to move people along through automations. So I like to think of goals as a way simply to pull people through and have them skip certain steps. So this automation here is intended to send out the same email over and over and over again until we get some kind of response. And I think the only thing I've done is set it up so that if somebody actually reads one of the emails, they no longer get any more of those emails. And that's a great way to do things. Because that way you can measure how people are engaged in your content and know where you have kind of stopping points where people aren't moving through. So this automation, people get added, they get an email sent, wait a few minutes, they get tagged, they get another email sent, wait for a day, actually I probably should put in another let's put in another wait here for a day <clears throat> or just go ahead and uh, no, let's just throw it in there okay and then they basically get the same email sent again wait a day send the same email again <laughs> go for it again a whole bunch of attempts so down here is a goal and the way this goal is set up, <clears throat> um, it's going to happen if any of these emails that was previously sent was even opened. So that way what happens is, let's just say somebody reads or opens this email. They're gonna skip this, they're gonna skip this, they're gonna skip this, they're going to skip this and jump down to here. So I've moved them through the automation and use that as a way to get them one place to the other. It's kind of the equivalent of the if else statement capability logic that <clears throat> um, Active Campaign has built in, but definitely makes it a lot easier. So the way to structure an automation using a goal is to assume, for instance, the worst case that you want a person, you know, one person's gonna go through the everything you can offer, everything you can send, and anytime somebody does something that you want, you move them outside of that automation. And then you can continue on from there. So I could have, instead of having uh, set this the, the action to actually open, we could do, uh, let's do, for instance, clicks a link. Has clicked on a link uh, in email 1A, and I'm just going to say, any link and it looks like there's only one so that's one that's maybe a little bit more robust way of doing things is instead of just simply acting looking for an open you can say um, i want them to have clicked on a link a specific link or any link in a particular auto uh, email that you sent out and let's do one c and there's a few more links in there, but let's just say any link in there. So this is a, maybe a little bit more ro robust goal, so people have to be very proactive. And then, you know, what you wanna do here is um, anytime, and ideally, I usually just leave it below, con and when the goal is below the contacts position, then I typically let them flow through, so continue anyway or you can have wait until conditions met, or you can simply end the automation. That's one way to do it. But typically the best scenario is just use the below contacts position and continue anyway. So that's, that's how you can use goals to get people out of your automations and a way to measure um, <clears throat> you know, their activity. And then even after that, you can continue on and send them further down the path inside that same automation or move them off. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you can do with goals inside of active campaigns automation.